I will begin as I always do with the official hashtag JoyEnt, the official hashtag Jubilant Hello to all of my good friends that are circling the universe. Welcome to today's video. My name is Doug. This is Trade with Doug. And don't forget the all new Trade with Doug website is now live. So if you ever need help with your trading, you want to take your trading to the next level, make sure you visit that. Also, on a quick note, my new course is now available, the Check Mark Inner Circle that includes lifetime access to my trading community. If you want to check that out, I'm going to post the link up there. Topic of tonight's conversation shall be, my good friends, can we trust them? Should we trust them? Well, we never can trust any stock, but should we believe what we're seeing right now? As I'm doing this video, we got roughly 45, 50 minutes left in the session. I'm going to go through a laundry list of repeat offenders who's gotten on my nerves. So I consider it right here. You know, like the Pulp Fiction thing where he's like, I'm just a race car in the red, man. That's all I'm saying. You don't mess with a race car in the red. I feel like I'm a race car in the red with some of these stocks because... I've had a relatively bullish outlook on it, and I feel that we've entered this realm after Thanksgiving where all of these retail traders came into the market, which is a great thing. We saw these huge moves, but lately they've been just, did, I was going to say somewhat disappointing. Let me just use the word disappointing. Some of these I've featured on here, and we got some bounces. Now, there's some predictability in the bounce, and what we should really talk about today is the translation of what's happening with these charts and what they're trying to tell us. And the confirmations that we need as traders to, to move forward with trades, because as they say, one day does not make a trend, but it is a start, right? So, or you, there's always a saying, right? The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Let me begin with this plant, planter peloton. Why don't you? I'm chuckling on this thing because if it was if it was a person, I would just smack in the face. I would just say, Pshoo! Peloton. I, I, I've had, I shouldn't be that way with it. I've had good success with them. I mean, there's certainly other stocks out there that I've been barbecued on. This is not one of them, but I've been in this one a couple of times off of these supports. So I'm really into the whole support buying theme. I'm just not somebody that feels like I want to chase any kind of stock. I'm not into the breakout thing. I think breakouts are a misguided term in stock market trading. Not everything is a breakout. And I think when you're looking at solid pullbacks that hold support, you have a market defendable area and you've got that. And there were several times here with this plan. Uh, I got to say this, right? Cause I call it Pel Pelotar planter. I'm, I just, I got all kinds of sewage spitting out of my mouth. Palantir. Hope I'm saying that right. You guys, Palantir. But I picked up some here. Uh, it just kind of rolls right on it. And it just, it starts to sell off, right? It just, it doesn't want to have any authority. Now, one of the things that we want to look at is, is the authority, non-authority, the offense versus defense sort of concept, if you've, if, if you've never heard this. One of the way we're looking at charts is, like I said, we say the translation of what's the materials in front of you. If you have something that's totally been bludgeoned to death, and then all of a sudden you get a green day, right? You're, you're, you're just dying, 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 and you get thrown a lifeline. Regardless of what that lifeline is, this is a little green bar I'm drawing even though it's yellow. Regardless of what that lifeline is, that is a moment to finally put an end to this bloodbath of whatever asset you're looking at. If the very next day this thing gets cheesed and, and makes another low, there's no other excuse that you can use for that that asset that you're trading, the stock, whatever, whatever it may be, because why would it bounce now? I mean, it, it had an opportunity. It had a news event. It had a pump. It had a PR. It had something enthusiastic to rescue its sorry ass from dying, and it doesn't work. That's just common sense, right? You, you just, you know, some people always get second, third, fourth, fifth chances and keep blowing up. And I and anyway, let me get back to there. I, I took this trade and I end up getting out of it because I'm like, it's a dud. It will not build off of its lows. Try it again. Terrible. I come back in here and pick it up and it turns red the next day. I'm like, I, you know what? Get out of my face, PLT or get out of my face. So here we are right now. I mean, look, risk reward is great. You're you're in an awesome, awesome, awesome top tier level right here of support and we've got a bounce and as i'm doing this let me just throw in a day i mean the intraday chart real quick so we can see some of the action i hope my face is not covering this it probably is let me minimize it make sure see how i can fit it in there yeah 
anyway, this is what we're looking at. Really strong. It's, it's, it's closing strong, flagging nicely up here towards the high of days. Looks like it's going to press through there. Now, it did the same exact thing a few days ago, but it ultimately ended in disappointment. So what am I saying? We're going to need to see follow through on some of these names tomorrow. Like, I get it. You're going to have one good day. But we can't sit here and just time one good day out of every seven. We're not that good. So we're going to have to look for each spot. I like this one. I really I want to give you the benefit of the doubt. I want to invite you back into my house. Palantir, I want you to come over for dinner. But it just, let's just watch it. I mean, yes, the risk of reward is, but I haven't seen anything authoritative. Now, maybe if it could put a solid day. Now, when I'm saying a solid day, here's what I'm actually looking for. If this thing can stay strong tomorrow, just don't don't give back this, okay? Don't 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 give it back. We don't have to be the first ones into many of these trades because they got plenty of room to run. So PLTR is one I'm looking at. Maybe tomorrow we can get confirmation. No confirmation yet on this, but it I, I believe it is due for a rally. If you do trade it, everything is short term. Don't forget earnings is coming up here in the near future. I advise not to trade through earnings. On, on any stock. So that one is, is PLTR. You've heard me talk about Fubo. I did a bunch of videos on it, some of my favorites here. This Fubo itself, same thing. You, you're really, really grinding. I mean, and you know, the other thing you've got to look at here is as this thing has been selling off this whole time, there hasn't been any really panic, any panic. Like there's just no fear. Now, some of you newer traders might ask, well, what's the, the difference? When you're looking at parabolics and you're looking at, let's say, extreme moves to the upside and extreme moves to the downside, the rapid speed. Speed is something that can't be taught in hindsight with charts. Speed is something you have to experience while looking at the chart, really realizing the depth of the aggressiveness in the instrument that you're looking at. What that really means, remember, we go to thinking of translation. What is the market speaking to us? And, and the speaking is emotion. It's an emotion-driven trade. It's more emotionally driven than technical and fundamentally driven. So think about this. You're studying really hard to be a great trader, right? You're working hard to be a great trader. You're watching videos like this when you're copying charts, you're drawing lines, you're studying, you're reading. You're trying to develop intellect. Then when you see this, people are abandoning intellect for emotion and you're getting these big parabolics. That's an emotion-driven trade, and they're normally not sustainable. Constant grinding down like this is, is very sustainable. Anyway, same thing. Very good risk versus reward here. You're kind of breaking this range, albeit very cheesy. 200-day moving average right here. I would like to see this thing move up a little bit and just really solidify itself and, and, and maybe trade towards the 30s to the 25s. So I do like this one here. And another one of my faves is the Vuz. Vuzi, 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 Vuzi. Oh, Vuzi. Yeah. Uh, this right into support here also looks pretty good, but very, very radical stock. And, and I tell you what, this is also a good lesson, okay? A good lesson about why you don't chase stocks. So I featured a couple of Vuzi and Pavum. And both of those videos that I speak, some of you misquoted mis, mis, uh, me here. You, you got to wait for these pullbacks. You got to wait for back testing of a rally to authenticate the previous rally. So what I'm saying is, you know, you can't buy these things vertical because here's your entry price and now you're underwater on these trades. This is a nice chart here. It's bound down into support. You're right at this double bottom. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It needs to hold this level. If you lose this level, just, just, just move away from this because it'll probably get more aggressive. Same thing as Fubo, same thing as whoever I forgot that I put on the, the, the list at the beginning. Oh, yes, PLTR. How, shall, how dare shall I forget? If, if you can't build off of these balances, then just forget about it. Now, some of these stocks are, I, I don't have the long-term love affair that many people do. I'm just a short-term trader. But some of these things have just been just beaten to a pulp here, and they're down significantly. So I like this one. I like Fubo. I want to like PLTR. <laughs> They need to, I need to see some more. Let, let's see what they look like tomorrow. There could be a great opportunity. I would highly suggest if you're a short-term trader that you don't chase these right now. You know, don't, don't chase them. 
Wait till tomorrow. There's plenty of upside room if they want to go. We'll know the confirmation when we see it. Now, there's a couple of other ones here that uh, let's take a look at. Let's take a look at. Lulu. I want to look at Lulu. Yeah, Lulu. Uh, not, not too bad of a setup here either. You, you've got a nice piece of... Let me open this up here just for a second. Really nice box formation here. Look at this. Just a shade under its 200-day moving average. Really good day here. Same thing as well. You're, you're very close to recent resistance. If you can push through that, it should be a pretty smooth ride up to this 200-day moving average and then maybe up into this range. Uh, I don't know. I can't see what this actually is. Uh, three. Let me squint. Excuse. Don't, I'm embarrassed, but 330. Yeah, 330 up into here. Stop can be right here. For more aggressive traders, stop can be right here. I don't know if I would sacrifice this much. The, the thing is this, you're going to see tons of stocks, not just the ones that I'm mentioning here. You're getting a collective rally on everything today, which we haven't really seen much of. And I say that because I'm a beta trader, uh, a growth stock trader, trading higher beta names, and they've been in somewhat of a correction. Even though we've seen the Dow, the IWM, the NASDAQ, and the SPY continually make highs, most of these other stocks have been just spanked, right? They've been in a bear market. You know, you look at things like DraftKings, PIN, uh, PLTR, Vuzi, or recent bear markets. I'm not talking overall bear markets. Pavum, PAVM, Tiger, TIGR. These things have been hit pretty hard, so maybe there's some bouncing in here over the next couple of days. And last, well, let me just take a, since I'm on the PLTR, let me take a trip down memory lane and, and, and Peloton. If I saw one, I'd throw one out the window too. Very disappointing. Now, most of you might know the long-term history I had it. Best stock I had last year. Love this thing. It's amazing. Got it at 27, sold it at 160. I don't know if I could have done any better. There's very few times I look back and say, damn, that was perfect. This was perfect. I bought it again, sold some, kept some a little bit here on this down unwind, and I ended up getting rid of it. I've been looking for reasons to go back in, but I'm starting to kind of feel that maybe my 200 target was just too much euphoria on my own behalf because I'm not really seeing that right now. And and, and I'm not seeing it because I, I, I get it. They had the unfortunate incident there with the treadmill, but man, this thing was struggling to begin with. It was struggling to regain its traction. It's been fighting with its 200 day moving average. For a trade only, I don't think I see enough to make me want to swing trade this, this, this thing again. But let's open up the chart a little bit here. Oh, that's too big. I'm not that blind. Okay. We're very, very close to support right here. So perhaps tomorrow you get a nice touch in here and like an emergency bounce just a little knee-jerk reaction support bounce a round of defense from the market whether it lasts two or three days like here a couple of days here maybe it's just something quick that reclaims the 200 day moving average fills in the gap and so on i think i'd be happy with the trade like that also earnings coming up on this one here as well so i'm going to leave it like that let's do a quick review and let me kind of try to recall in my brain what I might have just said. I like, no, I don't. I'm interested in PLTR. I'm not going to say I like it. No, I, I, need, I need to rekindle my affair with PLTR. I'm going to watch PLTR, Fubo, Vuzi. I like these. You know, you could look at other ones. EXPI. EXPI is another one. These, these stocks are just destroyed. They've gone on multi, multi, multi red days. Maybe there's a collective lift, even if it's short term. I'm not going to be delusional and say we're going back to all time highs. We're going up another 100% from here, but just a nice little bounce. Let's watch those for some quick bounces. A couple of other stocks of interest is Lulu and Peloton. All of these outside of Lulu. Lulu might be one of the only ones I would hold for a longer period of time. And I just now mentioned that this now had another one. Sorry to put it in here late. For those that stay around till the very end, you are going to be rewarded with another one. Oh boy, do I like this Okta, O-K-T-A. I spelled it wrong. I like it, but I spelled it wrong. O-K-T-A. Hmm. Okta, okay. Whenever, there we go. Uh, really nice look here too. Pretty good look here on this uh, Okta. Watch that one. So Okta, Lulu, a little bit more swing oriented on these. The rest, let's watch for day trades. 
Guys, I want to thank you very much. If you need help, make sure you check out the new course. I think you're going to like it. Lifetime access. We're going to work together for the rest of our lives, which is a great thing. I'll get you to that next level as a trader. I want you to take care of yourself. I want you to trade well. Until the next time, see you then.